Here at the corner of third and King it's been a playoff atmosphere. Pressure pack situations from first pitch to the last. Hope and worry living side by side for nine innings. Nail biting moments that define a season. Because every game is huge. Giants Cardinals next. It's Hyundai Sunday on CSN Bay Area as Giants baseball is brought to you by your Bay Area Hyundai dealers. Today Giants Cardinals one more time final game of the series from AT&T Park. Hi again everybody I'm Dwayne Kuyper alongside me is Mike Kruko. Well the beauty of baseball you play the next day tough game last night tough loss Giants have been through it before. However this this game Mike is important for a lot of reasons one you'd like to take three out of four from the Cardinals and then head to Los Angeles. Well indeed it would definitely give you momentum going into your rival the Dodgers but also this would also enable you to win the series of the season with the St. Louis Cardinals that may be something that looms large should you have a head to head matchup in the wild card. But what do you do you give the ball to a couple of unknowns meaning Albert Suarez is going to face the Cardinals for the first time they don't know him and his opponent today Alex Reyes a hard throwing right hander for the Cardinals Giants don't know much about him. So when you have young pitchers going in you figured at some point it's going to be a bullpen game and therein lies the challenge to the Giants. They need to figure out their bullpen. Hopefully they'll get a lead to protect and hopefully they can bring home some bacon. All right, it should be fun here at the yard. It always is Cardinals and Giants. When we come back we'll have the lineups on the first pitch right after this. CSN Bay Area is brought to you by Jack in the Box. Taste the all new Jack's Brew House Bacon Burger today at Jack in the Box. Limited time only at participating restaurants. And by Toyota, the full line automaker with the longest lasting vehicles in America. Toyota, let's go places. Giants take the field as we get ready for baseball here at AT&T Park. Our game time weather is presented by the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. 
the admission free boardwalk is open this weekend 82 degrees here at the yard you see the winds are light humidity at 59 percent and it is sunny. All right let's take a look at the Cardinals lineup the lineup that Albert Suarez will be facing. It'll be it's a tough lineup it'll be Carpenter Diaz and then Brandon Moss you see what he's done the last five games against the Giants. Biscotti Benji or uh, Yadier Molina then Jerko Gritchick Wong and uh, a young man nobody's seen a lot of he throws hard Alex Reyes will hit nine. On the hill today for the Giants will be the right hander Albert Suarez Suarez 6'3", 235 pounder he's 26 years of age. This is his rookie campaign and he's been a swing man. It's been the 21st game that he's been in the 11th start that he will have three and three on the year with a 4-2-0 ERA. 51 strikeouts against 24 walks that's a two to one strikeout walk ratio that's good in 75 innings. With Suarez you're going to see a, a low to mid 90s fastball he'll give you two different types of movement with the two and the four seam. And uh, he's very good with corner command when he gets it going. Also a curveball slider and a change. So the basic four, and he will throw anything other, every in, in any count. And uh, he has never faced the Cardinals before. This will be his first time against St. Louis. Let's take a look at the defense playing behind Suarez today, starting in the Giants outfield from left to right. It'll be Pagan, Span, and Pence. Crawford Nunez patrol the left side. Panic Belt patrol the right side. And Buster Posey with a day off today. That means Trevor Brown will be in the squad putting down the signs. As the Giants try to win the season series. Cardinals and Giants both tied up three yeah. apiece. This is the rubber match. Rubber match. So it'll be Matt Carpenter. To lead things off, Carpenter last night took a one for four. And the first pitch of the ball game is on its way and it's down low. So we get started at 107. So we're two minutes late. I'm telling you, that clock is screwing everybody up. It is. It needs to get fixed. Carpenter, it's a high fly ball, right center field for Denard Span. And Span will backpedal, and that's how this game gets started. And that'll bring up Diaz. Calling balls and strikes will be Brian Onora, then it's Doug Eddings, Laz Diaz, Corey Blazer from first to third. Onora, kind of a herky jerky strike three call. Oh, you'll see some high strikes too with Brian Onora. Swinging and it's a fair ball over the line. And it'll kick to Pagan. And it'll be a double. If if you have to be aware that Diaz is going to get after that first pitch. And he gets a fastball challenge middle in just above the knees and he spins on it. Right over the bag. And that is our Toyota Exmo brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Saw the ball land in fair territory or foul territory. Doesn't have to land fair if it goes over the, the bag. So here's Moss. All these at bats now by these Cardinals against Suarez will be the first time that they face Suarez. Overshift is on for Moss, who homered in the first inning last night. And here he takes a breaking ball for a call strike. One thing about Brian O'Nora's strike zone is you're going to see more wide strikes away from the hitters than you will inside. For whatever reason, it's a pretty tight strike zone on the inside corner to both lefties and righties. Got underneath that fastball badly. One ball and one strike. Moss with 27 home runs. Piscotti's on deck. And a high fly ball into left center field. It's a day where the ball's going to carry. And it carries out to Span, who makes the catch in deep left center field. And tagging and going to third is Diaz. There's an idea of what's going to happen if you get. It in the air with a little something behind it today. It is a small ballpark. There's no wind right now, so no field is protected. 
I mean, this is as calm as we've seen wind here in a long time, and it simply means that you're going to see some home runs in this ballpark. The flags are not moving. And the Cardinals are the team in the National League that has the most home runs collectively. They think home run. Look at that. Not moving. Nothing. Looks like it's a postcard. In tight to Piscotti, 274. 21 home runs, 81 driven in. One for 12 in the series, and this is a fair ball and a one hopper to Bell, and a nice play to end the inning. Munoz has got that play down. It's a great David play. David Concepcion at his best. Be Span back in the leadoff spot. So welcome back to that spot for Denard Span, then Pagan, Crawford, and Pence. Bell will hit fifth. Eduardo Nunez. Yep, that's right. He's swinging it right now. Will hit sixth in his Panic Brown and Albert Suarez. On the hill today for the St. Louis Cardinals will be the right handed rookie Alex Reyes, 6'3, 230 pounder. And this will be his third start. He's 2 and 1 with a 1 9, 2 9 ERA. A 34 strikeouts and 28 walks. That's what's impressive. But look at the, the walk total. And uh, that is the one thing that he will occasionally do. He'll get a wild hair up his nose. What's he got? He's got a great fastball. It averages about 97 miles per hour. He's also got a great changeup. And go oh, by the way, did we mention he's also got a great curveball? Three very good pitches. Just a matter of how he can get them over the plate is what will decide his fate today. Making his first appearance ever against the Giants. Let's take a look at the defense playing behind Reyes, starting in the Cardinals outfield from left to right. It'll be Moss and Grichik and Piscotti. Good arms with Grichik and Piscotti. Diaz and Jerko on the left side. Wong and Carpenter on the right side. And Yadier Molina, he'll be in the squad putting down the signs. So here's Span. Span hitting 261 with 10 home runs, 49 runs batted in. And the first pitch is a high fastball at 93, one ball and no strikes. Ben had two hits on Thursday night. Came back and went 0 for 2, but walked a couple of times on Friday. There's a strike. And in last night's game, Denard Span went 2 for 4. So he's done a good job in this three game series. Skies this one out into left center field for Grichik. Grichik makes the catch, one out. And here's Pagan. As Mike mentioned, no Buster Posey. This is a scheduled day off for Buster Posey. Pagan checking in with Molina, both Molina and Pagan from Puerto Rico. Fellow countrymen exchanging pleasantries. 
and teammates always for Team Puerto Rico in the World Baseball Classic. And a strike to Pagan, 274 with 11 home runs, 48 runs batted in. Rolls this one, and it'll be Reyes who will shovel it to Carpenter covering two outs. And that'll bring up Crawford. So Crawford. 12 home runs, 80 runs batted in. That leads this team. Hunter Pence is on deck. And Crawford skies went into center field, and it's going to be a quick inning. A six pitch inning for Alex Reyes. Bottom of the, or make that top of the second coming up. Bay Area is brought to you by AAA. What does your insurance do when it's not doing insurance? It should do more. Go to AAA.com for more details. Well, Giant season tickets are currently sold out, but get on deck today for your 2017 season tickets with a $500 per seat non-refundable deposit. You can gain access to purchase all potential 2016 division home playoff games. Giant sales execs are standing by to assist you at 415-972-2298. Or go to sfgiants.com slash season. Here's Molina, and Yadier Molina takes a call strike. 291 with seven home runs, 49 driven in. Three for eight in the series, make it, make it four for nine in the series. All right, time now for our cold hard facts brought to you by clean crisp Coors Lights and best National League best win percentage versus the Cardinals since 2008 regular and postseason. Well the Giants would hold that distinction 38 and 32 followed by the Mets the Dodgers and the Pirates. So here's Jerko. Jerko hitting 243. He's got lots of power and he swings for it. The balls in one strike. He's got that little natural uppercut that gives him a lot of lift. Very compact build, short arm swinger, loves middle end. Well, 
Brown is going to get to it. His throw is in time. They got him. And Mike Matheny's not so sure. But well, Molina's getting off the field, so I think that may be an indicator that he thinks he's out. A nice play for Panic to stay with the one hopper. He got to it in plenty of time. So play on. And that changes this inning a bit. It's one ball and one strike. Oh, you bet. I mean, that's a leadoff base hit. Now you go back and you wind up. You got one out. One and two. Ball goes down the dirt and to his bare hand. Trevor Brown, one hopper. That really a nice play from Panic to dig it out and get the tag applied. Hit on the ground to Crawford, and Crawford will make the play. Two out. Is he a hooker or what? Yeah, well, that's what he did last night against Sergio Romo. Hooked one, found a hole. He's got strong hands. Here's Gritchick, who's hitting at 239. You see some of these Cardinal. Averages, you know, they're the averages are low, but the power numbers are high. It'll be really interesting to see what happens the next three games for the Cardinals because they're headed to Denver. Trevor Brown having a tough time handling. That last pitch, one ball and one strike. No swing, two balls and one strike. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Good pitch. Good change up. So he's definitely established in the minds of the Cardinals that he can get all of this stuff over. And really, that's what he's got to do. I mean, he's got to mix speeds, mix location, mix movements, hit his spots. And the other thing, you, you cannot create opportunity for free. You cannot walk the Cardinals. And that's hit out of play the club level just to our right. Hit on the ground to Crawford. And Crawford will make the play. So Suarez with the help of a nice throw by Trevor Brown and a nice tag by Panic. It remains nothing, nothing.
XM Bay Area is brought to you by Heffernan Insurance Brokers. Insurance and financial services for you and your business. Visit HeffInS.com. Insider Podcast is sponsored by Max Muscle Sports Nutrition and is live on CSNBayArea.com. And they log on each week as Alex Pavlovich is going to talk baseball with just about any anybody who, who wants to talk baseball. It's also available on iTunes. Here's Pence. Pence. Ooh. And that rocked Onora. Got on top of the head. That was a high fastball that Pence. Well, he's got a little glaze in his eye right now. Eric Ortega out there taking a look at him. It did absolutely rocked Onora. You could see it immediately. Stars, you're looking up the sky to see if they really are there. Watch where it gets him. I mean, right in the forehead of his mask, and he almost went down. Yeah, well, that's where you hope that it actually did get most of the mask. Got a Molina there to steady him. Pence running over to help out. I don't know if he can shake this off, Kite. I know. We've seen this happen before. And that's it. Las Diaz is going to get the gear on. We've done this before. This takes anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Well, as sensitive as baseball has become to concussion protocol, yeah. you just don't take a chance. Well, it can't be just about the players. No. Coaches, umpires, you name it. People that are in the dugout. He's struggling. Yeah, it's hot down there today, as we mentioned. Game time temp for four first pitch, 82. Plate umpire's got all the gear on. And anytime you take a, a, a shot to the mask, I mean, you're you're not braced for it. You're not expecting it. I mean, he's concentrating on the strike zone. And hit him right in the forehead of the mask. And they're going to help him off. He's done. Yes, gone are the days where you suck it up and continue. No, it's not worth it. May not just be today for Brian Onora. No, he, and he's a tough cookie. I mean, he he's been around this game a long time, and we've seen him take shots off the arms and the shoulders. And I mean, he, I mean he's a guy that, that you know, shakes stuff off. For him not to be able to shake it off, you know, it's a significant jolt. Las Diaz, who is umpiring at second, will go behind the plate. He umpired behind the plate on Friday night. And uh, Las Diaz is the crew chief. So I, I'm, I don't know if the protocol is is the second base umpire always is the one to replace him or is it the crew chief that always replaces him and it, there may not be any protocol at all. It may be the first guy that volunteers. Well you know I'm sure there is a protocol. Now you have a three man crew and, and uh, you know the rotations are different whatnot. It's just, they the umpires they will adjust seamlessly. It's, it's, it's what they do. And most of these guys I mean. Uh, well I will say most of, but a lot of the, the veterans who've been in this game over 20 years that they when they started in the minor leagues they were in two man crews. Yeah. Well you know one guy who probably knows all about this more than anybody. Eddie Montague is that manager in the Cardinals dugout. Well Mike Matheny whose career was cut short because of concussions. But Eddie Montague as well. I mean look he 
You don't umpire as long as Eddie did without having that exact thing happen to you. Well, he knows all about the protocol too, about what what happens now. But Mike Matheny, who it was absolutely our pleasure when he was a giant to be around him, to watch him go about his business, watch how he would prepare for a game, and we thought that he was going to play another four or five years. He and, did too. Uh, Here, in this town, this is the shot that. That uh, Onora took. I mean, you got a, the combination of two things. One, you got a guy that throws about 98, and you got a, a hitter that swings about 98, and it ends up being a foul ball right off your forehead. When Matheny was injured, it was in the series when the Giants played the Marlins in Miami, and he took about three really direct hits to the mask. And that was it. And it was a long, long time before he felt right again. But it cost him his career. Well, every once in a while, you have a, a living example of when people say you just never know when your last game is going to be. And uh, and Mike Matheny was the true example where he starting catcher one day, catching his old friend and teammate Matt Morris. And the next day he didn't play and he never played after that. Remember we would. Go into Pittsburgh to play the Pirates. And. Uh, and that's where the. The center is for people that. Have concussions go to to find out. How bad it is what's going on. And we would run into Mike Matheny and. and he, he was a lone soul man he wanted to play and he couldn't matter of fact he couldn't even get on a treadmill. Well, you get dizzy just standing. I mean he couldn't track a baseball and if he tried to read a book or watch TV for a while you get headaches. And if you're around Mike Matheny. He's one of the toughest guys we've ever been around. Ugh. Well. So anyway the the whole point is is. Baseball is very much aware of concussions, and it's not just all about the players either. Remember exactly what the situation was in Milwaukee a couple of years back where the home plate umpire had to depart. And uh, we remember then that you think that it's a re really easy transition. It's not. It's likely Las Diaz's gear is packed. Because he's not going to umpire behind home plate. Well, you got to unpack it. Well, you come to the ballpark, you never know how the game is going to go. You're looking at a bright, sunshiny day. You're thinking, this is going to be a, a, a day where you're not going to have to worry about delays. But the little black cloud that surrounds not just the players, but even the umpires. You never know when there's going to be an injury that's going to hold this game up for a while. And, and you just stay loose. And everybody has the same hope that Brian Onora is feeling better and that indeed this is nothing serious and it's going to prolong. And there's Las Diaz. That's pretty quick change right there. I got to applaud the, the yeah. effort. This is what we're talking about, and that's just not any little guy that hit that foul ball. That was Miguel Cabrera, and then Hanley Ramirez. Oh my gosh! Well, that, you know, this is Jason Schmidt on the mound, and he was throwing 96 too. And for Mike Matheny, that was where it would end. So this is going to be a test for the rookie Alex Reyes to stay focused to stay loose. It does uh, absolutely mess with your rhythm when there is a delay like this. But 
you also have a veteran catcher back there, Yadi Molina. And uh, the one thing the Giants or the Cardinals really take advantage of is Molina's ability to lead in these type of scenarios to keep that rookie on point and in focus. So we'll see. It's all in one depends. This takes a breaking ball. Pence at 297. 12 home runs, 52 driven in. Rolls this one foul. Hugging the line is Jerko. And it's one and two. Two and two. Fastball starting to stretch out a little bit. That last one at 97. That's about what his average is. He will hit 100. On a day like today when it's warm. And Pence waves out a slider, so he's out. And that'll bring up Belt. First strikeout for Reyes. Belt at 273 with 15 home runs, 75 runs batted in. Takes a strike and it's 0 and 1. You, you have to be ready for the fastball. Nunez on deck to the back leg, one ball and one strike. Tapped right back to Reyes. Two outs. All right, let's check in with Amy G. Amy. All right, gentlemen, we've been saying it all series. It is a playoff atmosphere. The Cardinals are not going to go down easy last night. They grinded it out. Colton Wong talked about it. It is our Geico quote this afternoon. He said, this is playoff baseball already for us. We're playing every single game like it's our last, and we want to come in and win as much as we can. We know the Mets aren't going to give it to us. Neither are these guys. I'm thinking these guys are the Giants, huh? These guys. That's it. Nunez swinging a bat pretty well, 288, 15 home runs. He's got 65 runs batted in. Wraps this one into the hole. Long throw, not in time. Base hit, Nunez. That's one where you're best off not even throwing it. Well, I mean, I. And I still think that Diaz is learning the league, but you should know by now if you're playing four games against the Giants, that Eduardo Nunez can run. And you're right. I mean, the only thing you risk is an air throw and giving him another base because you're not going to get the out at first. Just all out to a belly slide. Don't jam your hand. Here's Panic. Nunez has got 37 steals. And he likes to go right away. And he slipped going back. It's a pretty good move to first base, too, from Reyes. Which Eduardo Nunez just saw for the first time. Cardinals are looking at this. There's the slip you're talking about. Let's see. No, they're going to look at it. They think they got him. This is a bit risky in the second inning. Well, uh, one shot from our splash cam looked like he was safe. Let's take a look at this angle. I still think he's safe. This replay review is presented by Xfinity. The best argument was the second for the Cardinals is the second replay we saw. But two of the replays we saw looked like he was 
safe. The one looked like they had a chance to get him. I agree with you. Uh, I think this is their best argument right here. And well, if they're taking it off now, they're going to call him out. <laughs> Not even close. So that's significant because the Cardinals now can't challenge till the seventh inning. So here's panic. Now Nunez knows now that the kid's got a pretty good move. And the fastball is high one ball and no strikes. I just uh, want to clean up the one discussion we had about the rotation of the umpire should there be an injury and uh, Michael Duca texted us that the MLB umpires manual section five says the second base umpire takes the plate in the event of an injury to the plate umpire. So indeed there was protocol and Michael Duca thank you. Looked like he had another lean towards second there. The point you made about. Nunez likes to go early in the count is, is right on. He likes to go. He's leaning. Two and zero. Oh. The Reyes, who we were told was going to hit a hundred, right now is cruising around ninety three. Trevor Brown is on deck. And he is with his lead. Three and oh. I'd like to wish a happy birthday to Mary Maglio. She's been around here for a long time as one of our ushers. And uh, Mary's 95 today, and she definitely is a gamer babe. So and the walk to panic. Happy birthday, Mary. So here's Trevor Brown. Trevor Brown hitting at 242. RBI opportunity. And he takes a strike. No balls in one strike to Trevor Brown. Speed at second. Popped him up. And that'll end the inning. Giants strand a pair. We'll head to the third. It's nothing, nothing.
MSN Bay Area is brought to you by your Bay Area Hyundai dealers. Great deals on amazing cars are going on now at your Hyundai dealer. Visit buyhyundai.com today. On Tuesday, the 27th of September, it's Bay Area Unite Night at AT&T Park. Your special event ticket is going to include a Giant Sharks deal cap and a ticket to see the Giants and Rockies. sfgiants.com slash special events. Colton Wong is going to lead things off. Yep, she's a backyard girl. Hops right over the fence, not a problem. The pitch to Colton Wong, and he fouls it back. No balls in one strike. Got that fastball in nice, right on the hands at 91. That's how you take advantage of a guy who's a first ball fastball. Hitter. It doesn't mean, doesn't mean don't throw a fastball. Just throw it to your location. In at third is Nunez. There's a strike. Wong hitting at 239. Gorgeous day. As calm a day as we've seen really all year. All year. Two and two on the high fastball. Teams that come here in June and July and <laughs> shiver a little bit or shiver a lot, they say, what, does it ever get warm here? You bet. Come here in September and October. Got him. Good. Curveball. First strikeout for Suarez. Here's Reyes. Take a look at a good hook. And boom. Drop right around that outside corner. Strike to Reyes in nine at bats this year. One hit. Suarez is not afraid to to get the ball back and throw it. Oh, he likes a quick pace, so he just likes to get into the good rhythm. Carpenter to follow, no score. We're in the visitors' half of the third inning. On the ground, Crawford. He'll step and throw. He knew he had the pitcher running. Two outs. And just knowing that the pitcher's not going to be blazing down that first base line allows Crawford to set his feet. Didn't have to be an off balance throw. Knowledge of your opponent has everything to do with how you make the play. Forty Niners post game live is airing right now on CSN Plus, which can be found on Comcast channels 105 and 780. Direct TV 696-1, AT&T channel 1771. And if you can't find CSN Plus, log on to csnbarea.com or call your local cable provider. Breaking ball misses, one ball and one strike. Carpenter hit a fly ball to Denard Span to open up the ball game. Here he takes wide, two balls in one strike. Foy gonna miss two and two. That's a good changeup. I mean, he's got everything working. Suarez has definitely showed up today with his weapons. Swing as Laz Diaz immediately went to the appeal. It's a full count with Diaz to follow. 
getaway day for the Giants. They'll leave after the game for Los Angeles. Cardinals get on a plane head to Colorado. Denver. 16th Street Avenue Mall. Yeah, they'd like to have a dollar for the street we walked all these years. Down the right field line, that'll be extra bases. After Pence will dig it out. Carpenter's got a double. One of the few curveballs that Suarez had hung up there. And perhaps in a 3 2 count, I mean, you're, you're going to bite off a little more strike zone. You have to throw a strike. But look at the height on this curveball right at the belt. And Carpenter not going to miss that type of mistake. Top spins it right down the corner. Remember, Diaz likes that first pitch. Carpenter had a huge lead. Take a look at the curveball from the side, right at the belt. Beautiful swing. I mean, he really rotates right in the middle of his feet. Great balance. Struck well to left. Pagan back. Gone. First pitch. Two nothing. And that's home run number 16. That yeah, was the first pitch breaking ball. And again, you want to get strike one, so that is the one time that you are vulnerable to a curveball. You're banking that he's going to be up there looking for a fastball and maybe take that curveball. But in this instance, as Guy pointed out, you got a very aggressive hitter. He likes the first pitch. Doesn't matter if it's a fastball or a breaking ball. Boom. And back spins it right out of here on a live afternoon here at AT&T. So here's Moss. Moss fouls it out of play. A look at the swing of the bat from Aledmus Diaz. Home run number 12. And tight to Moss. Line drive. Nunez has got it. As he leaps and puts it away. And that'll end the inning. Two out double, then a home run. That's the play by Nunez. And for the Giants, it'll be Suarez, Span, and Pagan coming up. Togo's big play the Togo's way and last night against the Cardinals Brandon Crawford shined on defense. What's new top of the fifth Robs a led Diaz of a hit to end the inning. 
And in the ninth inning, Stephen Piscotti pops up one to left field, very shallow, and it's Crawford that goes out and makes another great play. And that's our Togo's big play, the Togo's way. Here's Suarez. And a strike. Suarez three for 19. Nothing in two. Alex Reyes has a two run lead. And this is on the ground to Carpenter. That's really have done a pretty good job of keeping the Cardinals in the ballpark. And they're going to have any shot of winning today. They're going to have to keep him in the park. So here's Span. So you had one at bat to learn, Alex Reyes. Now it's time to apply what you learned. In the bat, you see the fastball, you see the movement, you see the ball come out of the hand. Well, that's all part of the learning process. Then, of course, you need to learn the changeup and the look of the breaking ball. And see if you can get wild. That was the book on him. He said he will walk yet. One ball and one strike. Pagan to follow. And the one two pitch to span. He got him. Change up. So two swing throughs on change ups. And Reyes gets his second strikeout. Just very good arm action, identical to that of the fastball, and that's what sets up that pitch. When Reyes was in the bullpen, he was pretty much a two pitch guy, and it wasn't the curveball he'd throw at you, it was the fastball changeup. Pagan takes a strike. The Mets won today. They beat. The twins three to two, so they swept that series. Right now, Pagan trying to get on for Crawford here in the bottom of the third. Ray is trying to come up with a shutdown inning. Down the left field line, a long run for Moss. It's going to be in the first row. Here's your winner. Brought his glove. A bit. Yeah, I think as an outfielder by trade. By trade. Here's. The one two pitch coming up to Pagan and Pagan hits it right to third for Jerko and that'll end the inning. Quiet inning for the Giants. Piscotti's going to lead things off.
Time now for our greater coverage of baseball is brought to you by T-Mobile. We go back to this date, 1997. The Dodgers had the bases loaded in the top of the tenth. Nobody out, and Rod Beck on the hill. Let's listen. Swinging a chopper to Kent. He has to come home. There's one. The throw to first. Double play. He got out of there. I don't believe it. And after Todd Zeal struck out, Beck got Eddie Murray to ground into the 4-2-3 double play. And after that double play, Eddie Murray only had two more plate appearance in his Hall of Fame career. And that is our greater coverage of baseball brought to you by T-Mobile. And then the home run by Brian Johnson. That was quite an afternoon at Candlestick 1997. I'll never forget that when Beck loaded the bases I was looking at a guy sitting right behind the Giants dugout on the first base side right in the first row and he was giving Beck what for. Oh, he was ticked off. And after the double play, <laughs> I looked at Friends the same for guy. life. It's my guy, Rod Beck. That's my man right there. Shooter, Rod Beck. Miss him. Swing and a miss, two and two. He died too young. And Piscotti rolls this one foul. Difference in the game. Aledmus Diaz with a two run home run in the third. He's two for two. He's seen two pitches. Full count. Good fastball right to the inside corner. That was a target Trevor Brown wanted. Three and two. Not close. All right, let's check out our McDonald's true stories. Just mentioned the Brian Johnson home run, and this was it. Two for four with a walk. And he hits one high to the left field and deep. Hollingsworth is back at the wall. It is out of here. And this one is over. <laughs> and the National League left is tied. And uh, the reason why it was a little bit surprising that the game ended like it did. Earlier in the game, Todd Zeal had hit one to left. That was gone, and the wind just pushed it back. So it didn't look like any ball was going to be able to get out to left. But Brian Johnson, it may have been Eric Karros that hit it, but one of those two. But Johnson hit his low enough where it just cut right through the wind. It's Molina lines it foul. Well, it happens for a guy has one swing of the bat and he is immortalized in the in the minds of the Giants fans or any fan base we saw it happen with Travis Ishikawa in 2014 home run to put the Giants in the World Series against these very same Cardinals Hit out to Pagan in left field So Pagan is retired. And that'll bring up Jerko. And you say Brian Johnson to any Giants fan, and they'll talk about that game. That's right. Just like you mentioned Travis Ishikawa, and they'll talk about the home run he hit in the playoffs in the NLCS. I'm not sure Bruce Bochy's digging the stuff that Suarez is throwing. And he's got some activity in the pen. Looks like Stephen Okert. Although Suarez has thrown some good breaking balls. A 
Scotty with his lead. He's got seven steals. This is hit on the ground to third. Nunez to panic, panic to belt, double play. Oakert sits down. Crawford, Pence, and Belt coming up. Time now for our Ford Ride Choice. We were talking about Travis Ishikawa. What do we say we go back and take a look? Game 5, 2014 NLCS. Michael Walker delivers the fastball down and in. And Ishikawa promptly hit it over the wall. And it was time to celebrate. The Giants had won the pennant and they were heading to the World Series. That is our Ford Ride Choice. And at that moment, I'm getting chills again, buddy. Shook the ballpark. We've had a few of those. JT Snow hit one in, I believe it was uh, 2000. Against the Mets. That shook the park. So here's Crawford. Giants trail by two. Brandon Crawford hit a fly ball to center field in the first. And this is lifted out to Diaz, and he's doing the pop up dance. And he hangs in there and puts it away. Let's check in with Amy G. All right, gentlemen, in case any fans missed it, the newest Golden State Warrior, Kevin Durant, Durantula, was here visiting. It was a pretty big moment. We're going to make it our healthy dose of goodness, brought to you by Eric's Deli Cafe. Got here. Spent a little time with who else? Willie Mays talked about some grips, saw some fans, talked to Larry Bear, Pence and Croft, big fans of KD. And then Suarez got the ceremonial first pitch and a little role reversal. I talked to Suarez. I said, how exactly did you get Kevin to sign the ball for you? He goes, you know what? I thought about it. I'm like, I'm not signing this for you. You sign it for me. I like it, guys. Very nice. Yeah. Well received. Very nice. Basketball starts pretty soon preseason. There's a swing and a miss by Pence. Hockey basketball. <laughs> it's all going to happen. Great time of year. If you're a sports fan. I mean what happens this month. Well you got. Football starting up NFL college. Hockey. Basketball Ryder Cup and of course. Baseball's best months. Lifted out to Piscotti. Two down. And here's Belt. Dodgers now trail D backs five nothing. Hanniger hit a home run. Here's Belt. Belt trying to catch up to that fastball doesn't no balls in one strike. Belt hit one back to the pitcher. 
And his only other at bat. Here he fouls it off the screen. It's nothing in two. Well, and we said he was cruising around 93. Reyes, the last two pitches were 96, 97. He's getting loose. Giants have not had that much great contact again against him. That's foul. Steve Ashman, our ball dude, who was at your game when you hit your home run? That's what he says. And he proved it. He brought the ticket stub up to show yes, you. He did. This is our third base ball dude, Ken White. Got him, and that'll end the inning. Three strikeouts through four. Two nothing, Cardinals. Giants postseason push is with MLB.com at bat, the number one app for live baseball. Get MLB.com at bat on your favorite devices and do it now. That is a beautiful child. And <laughs> she's being right, raised right. She yelled out, let's get some hits. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. I like her hat. She's styling. <laughs> that's great. Here's Randall Gritchick. Chick on the ground in the right field. Almost looked like he saw there was an opening and he tried to hit it there. That's what I think. It's nice back control. Giants stacked up the left side of the field with three infielders. Left side of second base opened up a hole on the right side. And he is Buster Posey did into right field. Inside out. That's exactly what he was doing. That's a bat control base hit. Here's Colton Wong who struck out looking in the third. Steven Oker heading down. He's thinking about runner goes and this is hit back to Suarez and his only play will be at first. So Colton Wong looked like he was a hit and run put on by Mike Matheny and here's the pitcher. It may be that Matt Carpenter is going to be facing Stephen Okert. Don't see many hit and runs with a pitcher on deck. No, you don't. But I mean, the 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 what would make you think it was a hit and run is Wong really swung at a pitch that he didn't have to. That's a pretty good swing right there. The rip to Pence. Tagging will be Gritchick, and he'll make it. And here. Yeah, he's coaching moving around a little bit. Yeah. 
So Carpenter. Doubled in the third. You got a, a breaking ball up. Play him to pull. Up high. One ball and no strikes. They keep trying to softball Carpenter. A lot of change ups, a lot of curveballs to him. There's a strike, and that will even the count. At third, Gritchick. Two outs. And that pitch is high, so it's two and one. A home run by Alidmus Diaz in the third inning is the difference in the game. That's going to be a souvenir, although Nunez will give chase. Well, you got to give chase. Yep. Found a nice home. I wonder if she got it or an adult got it and gave it to her. Either way, it ended up in the right spot. Hey, she is fired up. It's two and two. Got him, and that'll end the inning. Giants need some offense. Nunez is going to lead things off. is presented by authority of the San Francisco Giants. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of San Francisco Baseball Associates, LLC. Well, Sharks hockey returns Saturday, October 15th on CSN California, coming off your amazing run at the Stanley Cup. The Western Conference champion Sharks will soon be back on the ice. Sharks hockey returns October 15th. The home of the authentic Sharks fan is CSN California. Training camp about a week away. Here's Nunez. Nunez an infield hit in the second. Follows it back. Joe Panic to follow. Remember, Nunez.
Virginia's had some back issues and he's stretching it out. He doesn't look very comfortable right now. Taking a long time trying to get back in. The lower back issues and kind of wrapped around his side on his oblique heated up. He missed the entire San Diego series. And he's taking inventory in that batter's box. Yes, he is. Let's take a look at the first swing when he has to extend and reach. That's the one that didn't feel that great. Look out. It's two balls and a strike. No swing. That would have been a rough strike. All right, take a look. No, he didn't go, but you can see why Molina wanted Laz Diaz, the plate umpire, to ask. Foul back two and two. Hit up the middle. And Diaz is going to have it kick off of his glove. That'll be the second hit for Nunez where he's picked on Diaz. First time today that the Giants have been able to get the leadoff hitter on base against Reyes, too. Two strikes. Comes at him with a little two seam fastball in the outside corner. And Aledmus Diaz, the shortstop, got a piece of it. Just once he lost his feet, though, with the speed of Nunez, I don't think he's going to have a play. Base hit all the way. Here's Panic, who drew a walk in the second. Corey Guerin headed down to the bullpen. Hardly recognize him with the haircut. Haircut trimmed his beard. Ball gets away. And Nunez is going to scoot down to second. I think the air is going to be on Reyes, the pitcher. Yeah, it's going to be E1. Although, look, if you're Carpenter, you got to admit you, you probably could have caught that. Yeah, looking from that angle, looks like an E3, but. So panic. Waits. And he fouls it down the left field line and out of play. So they did indeed give the air to Matt Carpenter, the first baseman. Took a while for them to decide. I'm okay with that. Yeah, me too. Foul down the right field line. Take a look at the pickoff attempt. Just not a lot of lower body movement from Carpenter. That ball may have cut on him a bit. But hey, he gets an air. Panic got tired of waiting and called for time. Yeah, Reyes, I mean, he took a long time. But that does rock a pitcher. Absolutely does. Better off just coming through and throwing the pitch and try, instead of trying to hold up. Trevor Brown waiting patiently. And with the bullpen up, you're going to see Bruce Bochy get right to his bench. Get out into right center field. It'll be Piscotti catching and Nunez tagging. 
So Nunez will make it to third. He could get on that base fast and he thought about sliding, but he was already past the bag. <laughs> oh, let's take a look. Coming into third. Do I slide? Do I stand up? It's hard on the knees right there. So here's Trevor Brown. Brown popped out in the second. Brown, it's a little pop up in the center field, and Critchett's going to make the catch. And, uh, and that is not going to do it. So here's Gillespie. Connor Gillespie made the final out last night. There's a whole bunch of people that thought he was going to come through. This is, should end the inning. And Jerko is going to put it away. Giants waste a scoring opportunity. It remains 2 0. Giant Seats, get the StubHub app. Not only will you find seats you love whenever you want, you can find the best seat for your buck when you sort by best value. So get the StubHub app today. StubHub. When it's, it's a 2 nothing lead for the Cardinals when it's time for a change, thanks Speedy Oil Change and Auto Service, your oil change tune-up and repair experts. So Corey Gearin on uh, now in relief of... Uh, Albert Suarez, and this is what he has done in 53 games, three and one with a 4-3-4 ERA. Garen, high side arm delivery with low 90s velocity. He's got a slider to go with that fastball and a changeup. Suarez did a nice job today. So here's Alidmus Diaz. Outside to Diaz. He's doubled and he's homered. It's 
swing and a miss. Good breaking ball. Good location with it. Outside at 91, two balls and one strike. Aaron's fastball can jump at you. It really is. Uh, uh, it's high velocity for a guy down around the side. And another breaking ball, two and two. This is the home run off of Suarez. He got a breaking ball on the first pitch. Well, I mean, and if you're Suarez, you're thinking, all right, this guy, he's aggressive to the fastball. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a breaking ball at him. And you are going to throw it for a strike. I mean, it's not where you're going to try and throw it down below the strike zone off the plate away thinking you don't want to fall behind 1-0 to him. And he hooks this one foul. It's played by our ball dude down there, Ken White. And a bib. There you go. Two two pitch. Here it is. He got him. At a good location slider. Good time to go to Amy G. Amy. All right, gentlemen. Gregor Blanco activated the other day. Bruce Bochi talking about the value of having Gregor back. He's a great defensive replacement. He can serve as a pitch runner. What he's going to be challenged with is timing at the plate. There are no minor league facilities to Gregor for Gregor to go visit to work on facing major league pitching. I talked to him about it. He's been talking to Mark Gardner about getting some relievers to possibly throw a simulated game to him. But he's really going to have to just dig deep in his mind, he said, and draw an experience in the cage and put his own simulated situations in his head when he's practicing his swings and trying to get that timing back guys. Hey, Blanco has been such a big part of the success the Giants had since 2012. Oh and one to Brandon Moss. Plus, as we like to say, he's got that extra tool. He's a good guy. Oh, yeah. Good in the clubhouse. Good worker. Great laugh. Overshift is on for Moss. That's out of play down the third base line. Nice play at a bit. It's one and two to Moss. Biscotti on deck. And he's got him. Change up. Boss expected a whole lot more. Goes fishing. Put the tag on. Thanks for stopping by. Biscotti grounded out in the first, then drew a walk in the fourth. Whoa. Jumped right out of his hand, didn't it? Yeah, it got a little underneath that bad boy. Dropped just a little bit lower than the normal arm slot. 
All of a sudden, you're a fast, slow pitch, or you're a fast pitch softball pitcher. So they'll rise ball. Scotty chases that flat slider and it's one ball and one strike. That's about as bad a swing as Piscotty's taken all year. So Corey Guerin right now he's he's making the Cardinals take some funky hacks. Like that one one and two. Yeah. Another one. Take a swing like that when you're not seeing the spin on the ball. Teaser, get gathered, and watch the eyes stay on the target. And the eyes stay on the target even after you throw the ball. You never watch the ball after you throw it. Strikes out the side. Top of the order coming up. Impressive. On CSN Bay Area is brought to you by Toyota, the full line automaker with the longest lasting vehicles in America. Toyota, let's go places by Kelly Moore Paints, celebrating 70 years as your neighborhood paint store. By Xfinity, X1 from Xfinity will change the way you experience TV. Well, 2 nothing Cardinals, we're in the bottom of the sixth inning. He used to walk the dog there, didn't he? That's a great dog park right there, just up the Embarcadero from the ballpark. Meanwhile, out of McCovey Cove, there's a dog that right now is not thinking about grass. Smile. Selfie or, or taking a picture of a fish? Oh, that's nah, a selfie. Gotta be a selfie, right? And that was that pup smile. Here's Span. Span did not pick up this changeup. No, he's had a lot of swing throughs on it. That's definitely something you know when you're 60 feet six inches away from a guy who's not picking up a pitch. Nice. 
Well, he picked that one up as he lines it into right field, a base hit. So, I'll steal one from John Miller. Here come the Giants. Here come the Giants. Second inning in a row, they've been able to get that leadoff hitter on. So Yadier Molina called a second changeup, and he was not happy with himself. With Denard Span smacked it into right field for a single. By the way, the lady wanted a win on her birthday. They're going to give it their best shot. Here's Pagan. Swing and a miss. No balls in one strike. Alex Reyes is 22 years old. He is not going to shake off Yadier Molina. He hasn't shaken him off yet today. Span back. But there does come a time in every pitcher's career where he feels he earns the right to shake off a veteran catcher. Out of play, nothing in two. On deck, Crawford. And then Pence, and then Belt. Sixth inning. I always like that scene in Bull Durham when Crash Davis, Kevin Costner, the old veteran catcher, was catching Nuke Lelouch, the young phenom right hander. Got him. The changeup. And Nuke Lelouch tried, started to shake off the veteran catcher. So Veteran catcher said, all right, and he told the hitter what was coming. I hit the ball in the ballpark, and the moral of the story was, don't shake me off. Remember, the hitter took the first one, and Cosner said, what are you doing? I told you what was coming. I mean, that absolutely happens. The catcher will do that. A veteran catcher to a young pitcher. Crawford Crawford is flied out and popped out on deck is Hunter Pence but the bottom line you know a lot of young pitchers I mean they don't know enough about the game or the hitters or the hitters veteran catchers do Two and zero to Crawford. Crawford will look for a pitch to lean on here with two balls and no strikes, and Span at first. Three and zero. It's not the first time he's throwing a 2 0 changeup either today. Yeah, if, if, it, if it a little bit more towards the plate, he might have had a shot. <laughs> Tap foul. So there's the green light. It's three balls and one strike. Look at the pitch count 62. He really hasn't had a stressful inning. The most he's thrown in any one inning was back in the second. It's 15. And there's not a pitching coach in the league that wouldn't take 15 pitches an inning. Swing and a miss. There it is again. The changeup. I mean, he really hasn't thrown the curveball very much today, and it's a good one. Circle change, great arm action. And you are totally convinced in that batter's box that you're getting more than what you're getting. 
Span goes, swing and a tapper, third base side. Crawford's got a hit, and he throws it into the, actually off the, the sidewall. I thought it went into the stands and came out. And the Giants will have runners at second and third. I think last he is going to come out to Doug Eddings, the first base umpire. I thought it went in, didn't you? I thought it went into the the little pit there, the party pit. Tried to hurry a throw. Really a flat-footed attempt. They really shouldn't have made a throw here. Yeah, it definitely went into the pit. So very quickly, Derek Lilliquist coming out to try and calm his rookie down. So Pence is going to hit. Runners are at second and third. Crawford will be credited with a hit. And now Hunter Pence is at the plate, and Pence is 0 for 2. And Pence goes around. It's no balls in one strike. Pence has been the Giants' hottest hitter. He got the pitch he likes. Remember Randy Choate, 2014, game three. Bunt by Gregor Blanco. Choate comes down, spins, and throws it right up the right field line. A defensive breakdown, and it really led to the Giants' victory that night. That was it. That was a walk-off error by Choate. Here it's one and two to Hunter Pence. Span and Crawford are on base in scoring position. Got him. So Pence is retired. And that'll bring up Belt. The one pitch that Hunter Pence got was the high fastball and he followed it back. So here's Belt. Belt can pick up his his teammate. It's the hit they need and they haven't been able to get off of Reyes. Haven't had that many opportunities. They had a runner in score position in the second inning. They had one in the fifth inning. And they have not been able to cash in. Belt is 0 for 2. Struck out looking in the fourth. And tight, one ball and no strikes. An easy 98. So 98, it just skims right by your thigh. Definitely sets up a changeup. Two and zero. Oh. Steady comes back at 98 again on that inside corner. Giants looking for the hit that's eluded them all afternoon. Well, for Brandon Bell, he doesn't like to hit with a shift on it. It is not on against him right now. Foul. Turned on 97. So very quickly. Matt Bowman, the right-hander, who we've seen a couple times in this series, getting up, get stretched.
three and one. Did not miss by much. Three one change up. That's the one that really makes you take a walk. Have a word with yourself. And it definitely takes swing out. You've got to get short, get quick, and defend. So Nunez is going to hit. Well, that's a good thing. I mean, the Giants have four hits today, and Nunez has two of them. Both have caromed off the glove of the shortstop, Ledmus Diaz. Breaking ball, skied the left. Side retired. Giant strand a pair. Today marks the U.S. Air Force's 69th birthday. USAA honors those who served in the U.S. Air Force and all of our service members around the world. Game summary brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Suarez started a lot of two run home run to Diaz, and that's the difference in the game. Reyes has been good. Remember, he's just 22 years old. Two walks, five strikeouts. He's thrown 75 pitches. Garen came in in the sixth and struck out the side. Molina takes a pitch inside, one ball and no strikes. Looked like he was taken all the way, no matter what. Jerk goes on deck. Oh, he was taken again. As Diaz. Not impressed with the inside location. I guess not. 
So now you got to come in. Foul. Off of Brown. Two balls and one strike. Molina lost his protective piece. Molina has had a good series with the bat. Outside and low, it's three and one. Towards Kanto's head back to the Giants bullpen. Next pitch for Garen going to be number 20. Hit high and foul and out of play. Molina has always been a, a good low ball hitter, very similar to. His brother Benji, Benji Molina, who was a good giant and a nice career. He was a dead low ball hitter. Remember when Benji was, I mean, here's a Benji, an all star catcher and a World yeah. Series hero. He's telling us about how good his little brother was going to be. Well, he was right on with that scout report. Get out into right center field. It'll be Span or Pence. It looks like Span. He wasn't lying, that's for sure. Here's I Jerko. I figured he'd be good, but I didn't know he'd be Hall of Fame good. Yeah. Jerko. 0 for 2 and into a double play in the fourth inning. And he takes a fastball for a strike. He didn't take many fastballs for strikes. There's your righty and lefty, Kanto Sosic. Swing and a miss. Nothing in two. And he was trying to yank one. You say that a lot about the Cardinals. I mean, they all have power. They all can hit the home run. And they all will swing for it. Corey Pierce put on a clinic right now. That's strikeout number four of the five hitters that he's faced, and all four of the strikeouts have been swinging this strike threes. Or break a ball, take advantage of the uppercut. See ya. Grichik, one for two. He singled in the fifth. That in tight, away from the target. One ball and no strikes. And there's that slider that right now the Cardinal right handed hitters are having a hard time picking it up. All of them. I mean, nobody's really had good balance in any of the swings trying to get after it. One and two. And even when they're hanging. 
They're swinging through them. Right now, that slider is a magic pitch. One two pitch. Here it is. You got him. Wow. Five strikeouts. Well, Giants are looking for inspiration. Maybe they got it. Panic to lead things off. With this Bay Area Unite Night right here at AT&T Park, your special event ticket will include a Giants Sharks teal cap. Very cool. I want to get that. I want to get that. I want to get that. And a ticket to see the Giants take on the Rockies. If you want tickets? Go to sfgiants.com/slash/special-events. On a glorious day here in San Francisco, a day we thought we'd see lots of hitting, and we simply have not seen lots of hitting. The big swing of the bat came back in the, in the third inning when Aledmus Diaz, the Cardinal shortstop, hit a two run homer off Albert Suarez. And that has been it. And really, it was a first pitch breaking ball. And from Suarez's perspective, you're trying to get a strike with that first pitch. But here, Diaz measures it out. Home run number 16 on the year for him. And that has been it. We saw the ballpark today. There was no batting practice, but you didn't need to see BP to know that the ball would be jumping. And first pitch, it was 82 degrees, and there was no wind whatsoever the first three or four innings of this ball game. We're getting a trickling of wind now. So that'll protect the right side of the field a little bit more than what we've seen. So the Giants will have panic Brown and then a pinch hitter. Has walked and he's flied out to right. You know, you like to change pencils, I'm changing glasses. It's time. Yeah. Which is a strike to panic. Carlos do have some activity. I don't imagine that they'll let Alex Reyes, their 22 year old right hander, get back in the stretch. There you see Zach Duke hit on the ground and Wong from the cut of the grass one out and here's Brown pitch count really is not an issue but remember Reyes he spent a lot of time in the bullpen for the Cardinals this is his fourth start so they're still building his arm strength up and they're going to protect him with kid gloves he has been impressive today. Brown shows bunt and the pitch is high. Parker's on deck. <laughs> well, one's pooped out, huh? Yep. 
The other one's still got some life in the battery. She's going to go a while. However, when she gets in the car seat on the way home, I'll say she'll be asleep before they hit the bridge. Brandon. Brown hits a high fly ball to left. Moss is back. He's in front of the wall and he makes the catch. And that'll bring up Parker. See the numbers for Jared Parker. 240. Five big flies, 14 RBIs. So going up here trying to make something happen with two outs. And the pitch is down low. Last year at this time, Jared Parker was the talk of September. Came up and he got hot, way hot. Especially with the long ball. Fouls that one back. The big day was the three home run explosion he had it against the A's in Oakland. Which was pretty cool. Out of play, one and two. And was it the last of the three home runs at Grand Slam? I think it was, yeah. Don't don't test my memory. <laughs> I don't. Especially a day game after a night game. It's true. Las Diaz said he went around and and one thing you'd like to remind Laz Diaz is there's a guy at down the third base line that you can ask for help. I don't believe he swung. Uh, look from the side. Did he go? He did not go, Laz. Come on. Killing me. Tonight it'll be the Giants and the Dodgers pregame live at 6:30. They come to you from Dodger Stadium at 7 o'clock with the ball game. It'll be Bumgarner against Kershaw on Monday. On Tuesday, Cueto against Hill and Matt Moore against Kente Maeda. Right now, the D-backs are leading the Dodgers seven to four. That game is in the sixth inning. Is here's Osich and Osich on one pitch. And Colton Wong is going to end up at third, or maybe more. Pence is going to dig it out. Throw goes into Crawford, and Wong at third. 
And it's time for a change thing speedy. Oil change and auto service. Your oil change tune-up and repair experts. That didn't take long. Oh, it did not. Josh Osich right away going into a stretch here. 60 or a 56 time that he has come into a ball game. For Osich, that's going to be it. I'll say this. Cardinal hitters are ready for a first pitch fastball. Yes, they are. It is their philosophy and has been for a long time. Contos coming in. George Canto is coming again now. 55th game that he's come into. 34 strikeouts and 19 walks and 51 and a third. This is a strikeout situation for Cantos. Cantos low 90s fastball. Good hard slider. He's got a change up and a curveball. But you're likely to see sliders in this at bat with Johnny Peralta. Chance will have to play the infield in. So here's Peralta. And he takes the pitch down low. Peralta waits. And that's a foul off of Trevor Brown. One ball and one strike. See, Lopez is getting loose for Matt Carpenter. Tight. 91 to right above the hands. On the ground, foul. Chris Maloney making a play. Hey, baby. Chris. And everybody's excited. Find something to cheer about. Young left hander getting a foul ball. That's worthy of an that applause. Something to cheer about, absolutely. And Kantos, a couple chances here to get the strikeout now with Peralta sitting on the 2 2 count. Wow, 
fouled again. Skips up into the seats. Got an Easter egg hunt. Oh, no, there's there's the lottery winner. She's thinking about it. Yep, she's found somebody she wants to give it to. Everybody's got to take a look at that thing and feel a little bit first. But in the end, I think that little one's going to get it. I think you're right. Brown went out and had a word with Contos. A little strategy session. I also might have said, don't, don't be afraid to bounce it. I'll block it. And that's a rocket to left. And it's over the head of Pagan. Coming in to score is Wong, and Peralta is held to a single. So it's 3 nothing. And here's Carpenter. Well, Contos had him where he wanted him. I didn't want to make a mistake in the strike zone. That's the one thing in a strikeout situation. Got a couple open bases. And he hung one. Lopez coming in. It's 3 0. Cardinals. lead with nobody out in a run in Carpenter is going to face Lopez see the numbers for Javier Lopez 65th game that he's been in and he's really been pitching beautifully whittled almost four points off his ERA since April and in 25 and a third I mean that's been a hard thing to do but just gives you an idea of how good he's been of late of late really the last three months and he shortens up to bun and he takes down low lefties against Lopez in the last 43 that he's faced have gotten just five hits so that's Hazel Baker that is running for Peralta swinging a ground ball to panic and it goes to Crawford. Crawford to Belt. Double play. What's remarkable about this play is the flat ground throw or the flat footed throw from Brandon Crawford. I mean, he realized he had to get that ball over to first base quickly and he didn't have time to take a stride. So he gets it and flat footed, no stride, still gets enough on it to complete the deuce. He's got a strong arm. One more look at a gold glove effort. 
So we're going to take a break as Joe Nathan comes in. Lopez does his job. It's 3 0. We'll be back. Joe Nathan comes in to do the pitching. The eighth time that he has come in since he's joined the club, 2 0 on the year as a Giant. Seven strikeouts and four and two thirds. Through Nathan, you're going to see a low 90s fastball, curveball, slider, and a changeup, and he'll throw everything at you. Slider's more of a cut. Nathan to. Diaz and the first pitch is high one ball and no strikes. So Bruce Bochy throwing the old guys at the Cardinals 39 year old Javier Lopez and now 40 year old Joe Nathan. Yeah. Flips this one foul and out of play. Giants in the eighth inning will have the top of the order. Span Pagan Crawford Pence belt remember they got Buster Posey on the bench. Sharply hit to Crawford. Crawford to Belt. And that'll end the inning. Top of the order coming up. Giants trail by three.
always like to recognize when a former and very good giant returns to the house. Of course, we're talking about Mike Matheny. He's with the Cardinals now, but he will be forever giant. He was a Willie Mack Award winner with the Giants in 2005. Of course, a gold lover as well. Very special memories with Matt Kane. Matheny caught Kane's debut. I talked to Matt about it. He said he was just 20 years old, but he could not have been put in a better situation having Matheny behind the plate. He said he knew the hitter so well, gentlemen, that it allowed Matt to just pitch and enjoy the moment of his debut, which is hard to do. He said it also made a lot of sense that Matheny became a manager, a seamless transition. Dwayne? Yep, absolutely. He's a good one. Kevin Segrist, the new pitcher now for Mike Matheny's Cardinals. 62nd game that he's been in. He's been a setup for the Cardinals. And a strike. When it's time for a change, think Speedy, oil change and auto service, your oil change tune up and repair experts. From Segrist, you're going to see mid to high 90s with the velocity of the fastball. Kind of slurvy breaking ball and a changeup. You saw the strikeouts, more strikeouts than innings pitch. He's got good stuff. So quickly, Span falls behind. 0 oh and 2. He was not up there looking for a fastball. Out of play. Got a, another fastball at 94. Pagan on deck to pitch the span is in the dirt one and two. I'm saying that's an easy take. I'm saying that's one of the few easy takes you're going to get off of this guy. One and two. Hit up the middle. Kicks off of Seacrest. He's going to underhand it to Carpenter. One out. That play had a little drama on it. Hits and kicks away from Seacrest. It's like it hit his pitching hand a little bit. Right off the ankle bone. So a double cathud hand to ankle bone and then he recovers nicely and makes the play. They all converge on him to see if he's okay after his hand but he said I'm good. As long as you don't hit a fingertip you're all right. Here's Pagan with Crawford on deck. Strike. Pagan is 0 for 3. Giants have four hits in this game. And this is smack to left for a base hit. Brandon Crawford. Crawford had an infield hit in the sixth. The inning the Giants had a shot and could not cash in. Side to Crawford, one ball and no strikes. <laughs> 
Swing and a miss. Crawford with a healthy rip, one ball and one strike. Well, he's sitting on the pitch he was looking for, and he got it. Fastball at 94. And uh, Seeger's just taking advantage of a 3 0 lead right there. Figuring I'm not going to walk this guy, I'm going to make him hit it. And he threw it right by him in a 1 0 count. And Molina wants to see another fastball. He gets the call, one and two. Well, that's a coin toss location. Half the time you get it, half the time you don't. Set an outside corner. Yeah, that's a pitcher strike right there. And the one two to Crawford. He got him. So the one two count allowed him to go down the dirt with a breaking ball. And Crawford could not hold up. And this is by design. He's trying to hit home plate. A perfect curveball on a one two count. Giants are going to see a few of those tomorrow night. Yes, they are. Clayton Kershaw. Kane, Steven Okert. Pence takes the pitch inside for a ball. Matheny sticking with Seacrest because Belt, the left hander, is on deck. And tight again. It's 2 and 0. Does give you an idea how much confidence Mike Matheny has allowing Segrist to pitch to the right handed hitting pits. Some nice corner pitches with the fastball when he's had to. The 1 1 to Crawford here in a 2 0 count. He neutralizes an aggressive swing with perfect location. <laughs> 2 and 2. And he wins the fastball challenge again. I think Seagrist is sneaky fast. Lazy arm. Lazy arm, long, nice. lazy arm action. Follow through. Gets on you. Tapped up the middle. And that'll end the inning. Ninth inning coming up.
tonight at 6 p.m. after Giants post game live right here on CSN Bay Area. Highlights of this game, you get highlights of the 49ers and Panthers and highlights of the Falcon and Raiders. A lot going on. So Okert is about to face Brandon Moss and you might see Kane after that. When it's time for a change, think speedy. Oil change and auto service, your oil change tune-up and repair experts. The numbers for Stephen Okert, 13th time he's come in. He's done well. Nine strikeouts in 10 innings against four walks. See a low to mid 90s fastball, more lows than mids. Curveball slider combination. And that pitch is high. Moss is 0 for 3. Little work. Hey, all the way from Cayucas. And a good breaking ball, two and two. Cayucas just a bit north of Morro Bay on the coast. Great beach. Been there, huh? Many times. And uh, Moss just pokes it away from the defense. All right. Had it with the shifts. I'm, I'm, I've had it. <laughs> That's I'm, it. I'm done with them. Are you over the shift? I am. Well. And I'm watching the Cardinals. I think they are too. This is just a little pinch poke. You owe me a Coke. And that's going to be it for Stephen Okert. So Matt Kane's coming in. It remains 3 nothing. Brandon Moss let off the Indian with a base hit. So Matt Kane now coming out of the bullpen for Bruce Bochy. Four and eight on the year with a five six three ERA. Most of that year was in the starting rotation. Has transitioned to the bullpen this September. Really had to fight through a number of injuries this year. Uh, a hamstring problem really set him back. Kane still throws low 90s. Curveball cutter change up. So Kane's first pitch is down low. Yadier Molina's on deck. And a soft toss to first. Swing on the appeal. 
been a three man umpiring crew ever since Brian O'Nor, who started the game as a plate umpire, was hit high in the mask and had to leave the ball game because of dizziness. Three and all. Payne's got to come in. He does. It's three balls in one strike. Romo getting loose. Three and two. Maybe one outside corner. So if Scotty was looking for the fastball, he wouldn't look a middle away for it. God, he's not going to be happy with that at bat. Well, the payoff pitch, a 3 2 changeup. And Piscotti goes out of the strike zone and cannot hold the swing. See ya. There's Molina. Molina. One for three. He's had good numbers lifetime against Kane. 25 lifetime at bats, 11 hits. 10 singles and a double. Runner goes. It's a hit and run. And it's perfectly executed. So runners will be at the corners. Tried to hold your spot at second base as long as you can, but eventually you got to give it up to cover the bag. Take a look at the high breaking ball. Nice back control. And Molina continues to have a nice series. So with one out, here's Jerko. Jerko takes it in the dirt. Chick is on deck. It's three nothing Cardinals. We're going to foul back. One ball and one strike. A little bit of hang time on that cutter. One and two. Bowman and Duke in the bullpen. In the dirt. Nice now play. it's a delayed steal. And they're going to say no. Yes, now they said they tagged him. Had a late call. I mean, it caused another throw for panic. I mean, make a call. So that's two outs. That's as good as a strikeout right there. All the dirt. And from the knees, Brown throws a perfect throw to panic. Yeah. And now, I mean, finally you get a call from. Doug Eddings, the first base umpire. I think he was he was actually looking at the second base umpire for help. And that'll end the inning. Bottom of the ninth coming up. It'll be Belt, Nunez, Panic, and the Giants are hoping for more.
When it's time for a change, think Speedy Oil Change and Auto Service. Your oil change tune up and repair experts. Sun One O is the current closer for this ball club. And uh, he'll be trying to close this one out. He did last night, although the Giants got the tying runs on base. So O is to face Belt. Nunez, Panic. Oh, a fastball that goes low to mid 90s, and he's got a slider and a and a split he'll throw at you. So here's Belt. Fans need a base runner. Belt has been on once by way of the walk. And O throws that ball right by him. And it's no balls in one strike. Well, three run leads will definitely make you brave with nobody on base. At least they should. But it does explain the challenge fastball right down the middle. Pop up, out of play, one and two. Down low, two balls, two strikes. Any way you can get on just to wake everybody up in that dugout. Got him. One out, here's Nunez. Nunez is two for three. And this is popped out of play. No balls in one strike. Giants need some base runners. Nunez has been pretty good at getting on base in this series. Fouls this one back. It's nothing in two. Had a little hang time to it. Fans should have made a play. He's getting booed. Paying the ultimate price. It's the non catch of shame. <laughs> On the ground. Two down. The nine catch of shame. Here's Joe Panic. Joe Panic walked in the second. He's flied out and bounced out. And he takes a pitch high, one ball and no strikes. Ball back. And that officer caught it in his cap. How about that? Well, to protect and to serve. And he has suddenly become a celebrity. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, not, he's not quite sure how to handle it. That is a humble man. Yeah. 
We don't have many humble men when it comes to catching pop ups in this park. <laughs> no, you don't see it. That is. That is not uh, something that we see very often but. Much appreciated. 3 1 pitch to panic. That's 3 and 2. So Giants down to their last strike as Kelby Tomlinson is on deck. And this is popped up to right, and that should do it. It's Piscotti. And that's the ball game. So the final two games in this series, after the Giants won the first two games, they go to the St. Louis Cardinals, and uh, I'm saying blown save hangover. That's what I'm saying. Also, right. I'm also saying that the the kid Alex Reyes was really good. He had good stuff, good changeup. As advertised, Alex Reyes is definitely an arm in the future of these Cardinals, and he was very. Very good with the fastball changeup combination, threw in a couple of curveballs. So it winds up being a frustrating end to what looks like a promising series for the Giants, and uh, and the Cardinals now win the season series, and that could be significant later on. All right, final score: Cardinals three, Giants nothing. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned. Eastern's Giants post game live with interviews and the ref starts right now.